Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download our five free abstract and unique hero section background textures for Divi and also show you how to apply them onto your website. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you want to do is to go to this article which I'll link to in the show notes below. So all you got to do is to scroll down and uh, there will be a section here which shows you where to download this these uh, layouts from. So all you got to do here is to enter your email address. So I'm just going to enter mine here like that and then just click download. This is now the button which you need to click to download all the files. So all you got to do now is just click on download and then this gets downloaded onto your computer. Now you need to unzip that folder and then upload those images into your media library. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just created a page called BG. So the next thing we need to do here is to uh, use the Divi Builder. So I'm going to click on Use Divi Builder. And then I'm going to come over here and click on Use Visual Builder. So let's start off by adding our custom padding to our section. So I'm going to come over here to my gear icon, which is the section settings. Click on Design, Spacing. And then I'm going to add 228 to the top and 228 to the bottom. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save. Next, we need to add our rows. So I'm going to start off by adding my column structure here. So I'm going to click this gear icon here to change my column structure. And the structure I need for this is this one right here at the bottom, like that. For now, I'm just going to close this. And then I also need to add another row. But this time, I need a single column, like that. And then I'm just going to close this for now. Now it's time to add our text module. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button and search for my text module. Select it. So the first thing I'm going to do here is to add my title. So my title is going to be Let's Get Creative. Next, I'm going to go into my design tab and make sure my text is set to dark. I'm going to come over here to my text font and uh, search for Poppins. Select it. We're going to leave the font weight here as regular. That's fine. And then we're going to change the alignment to center. So I'm going to come all the way down here to text orientation and center it. Next, we're going to come over here to our te uh, heading text size. And then I'm going to increase this to about 56. And then for the line height, I'm going to set this to 1.3. Next, we're going to add some spacing. So I'm going to come over here and add the margin of 10 pixels to the bottom. So I'm going to come over here add my 10 pixels. This is just so that we have some breathing space uh, below this heading. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save. Now it's time to add our second text module. So I'm going to click this plus button here. So in this text module, I'm going to add some dummy text like that. Go into the design tab. And like we did before, this needs to be set to dark. And the text font needs to be set to Poppins just so that we uh, we have a similar font with our heading and then we're going to come over here to our size and set this to 16 and then over here on the line height we're going to set it to uh, 2 em and then finally for our text orientation we're going to set this to centered and then save so now it's time to go into our next row so what we're going to do here is we're going to add a button so i'm going to click this plus button and search for my button module i'm going to select it and in the button text, we're going to name this Learn More. We're going to click on, in fact, here on the link, you can link this to um, whatever page or website you'd like to. But for now, I'm just going to add a blank link. And then next, I'm going to come over here to Design. And to make customizations to this button, you need to make sure you come over here to Button and click on Use Custom Styles for Button. So I'm going to set to Yes. And then for our text size, I'm going to set this to 14. Our text color, I'm going to set this to white. For our button background, I'm going to set this to black. And then scrolling down here, we also need to change our font. So I'm going to come over here to our default font, change that to Poppins. And then for the font weight, I'm going to set this to semi-bold. And then for the font style, we're going to set it to uppercase. Now let's make further customizations to this button. So what I'm going to do here is to go into our spacing. And then for the custom padding uh, top, I'm going to add 12 pixels. And for the bottom, I'm going to also add 12 and then 24 on the right and the left. 
Right, so by doing this, we are making this button slightly bigger and also giving the text in the button a bit more, a bit more breathing space. And then also before we add our background image, we need to come over here right at the top to alignment and align this button center and then close this. Now it's time to add our image. So I'm going to come over here to my gear icon for my section settings, click on background. So the tab we need here to add our background image is this third one here. So I'm going to click the third tab, click the plus button. So I'm going to select my image right here and then click upload an image. So next we need to make sure that our background image is set to cover. And then over here on our background image position, we need to set it to bottom center like that. And then here on image repeat, this should not repeat and this should be set to normal. Now to add a bit more color to our section background, what we need to do is to add a gradient. So I'm going to come over here to my second tab, click this plus button and add my first color. So I'm just going to paste my color in here. Now if you'd like to use the same colors as I'm using in this tutorial, I will link to the post in the show notes below and you can use those exact um, colors. Next I'm going to add my second color. So I'm going to click this icon here like that, paste my second color. And then over here we need to change our gradient type to radial. And then for our radial uh, direction, it's set to center. That's fine. And then a zero and a hundred percent for the start and end position is perfect. So that's all we have to do for this. I'm going to go ahead now and save and that's our final design. Now let's go ahead and create our second example. So to do that, I'm just going to duplicate this because we are going to be using the same elements here. What's going to change is just the backgrounds and the designs. So I'm going to duplicate this section background. And then what we want to do is to come over here to our section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to change this background image by just deleting it and clicking this plus button. So the image I'm going to use is this one right here. So I'm going to select it, upload an image, and then I'm going to come over here to my gradient, click on my first color. This time, this is going to be an RGBA value tool. So to access my RGBA, I'm just going to drag the slider down a little bit and then place my value within the brackets like that for my first color. And then I'm going to go here to my second color and do the same. Paste my, my values between the brackets like that. And then over here for the gradient type, this time we'll need to change it to linear and the direction needs to be set to 102. The start position here needs to be set at 44% and the end position to 58. So that's all we got to do here. So I'm going to go ahead now and save. So before we complete this, I'm going to go back into the button module and get rid of this stroke. So I'm going to click this um, module settings button, click on design button, and then I'm going to come over here and remove this border. Okay, and then click save. Okay, so that's looking great. Now it's time to uh, design our third example. So I'm going to duplicate this like we did before. And then I'm going to go to, and then I'm going to come over here to my section settings, click on background. And then I'm going to delete this, this one right here, click the plus button to add our second one. And the one we're going to need here is this one. So I'm going to select it, click upload an image. So I'm going to come over here to my gradient tab, click my first color, and then I'm going to paste my color in here like that. Add my second color, paste it in place. So our gradient type is fine at linear and uh, over here on our gradient direction, this needs to be set to 120. So I'm just going to add it in here like that. And then our start position here needs to be set at 19 and end position 19. So that's our design. I'm going to go ahead now and save and let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to click, I'm going to duplicate this section one more time. And then I'm going to click this section settings, click on background, and then I'm going to delete it and uh, uh, click this plus button here to add the one that we need. And it's this one right here, the first one. So I'm going to select it, click upload an image. Now it's time to change our gradient colors. So I'm going to click this gradient tab, click on our first color. And this is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm going to add my value between the brackets like that. 
And then I'm gonna to come to the second color. Now this color here is just gonna be our normal hexadecimal value. So I'm just gonna paste it in here like that. And then I'm gonna make sure my gradient is set to linear and my gradient direction, it needs to be set to 90 degrees. So I'm gonna um, paste it in here. And then our start position this time needs to start at 50% and the end position needs to be also at 50% like that. So that's our design. I'm going to go ahead and save. It's now time to do our final design, which is the fifth one. So I'm going to come over here as we did before, duplicate the section and then go into the section settings, click on background. And then here we're going to delete this background image, click this plus button and we're going to add our background. So I'm going to select it, click upload an image. And then I'm going to click on the second tab to change our colors. So I'm going to start by adding my first color. I'm going to paste it. My second color is going to be an RGBA value. So I'm just going to slide this slider down a little bit. And then I'm going to paste my value between the brackets like that, making sure that our gradient type is set to linear and our gradient direction this time needs to be set to 190 degrees and our start position zero and end position at 100%. So that's pretty much our design. I'm going to go ahead now and save. Now there's also one cool thing that you can do here and that is to add parallax. So let's try and do that. So I'm going to come over here back into my section settings, click on background and then here we have this option for parallax. So I'm going to click on yes. So you can either choose uh, true parallax or CSS. So I'm going to select CSS for now and then now when I move my section you can see here that the parallax is working okay so now that we have completed our designs let's save and take one more look at all these backgrounds so i'm going to come over here click on save and then i'm going to exit the visual builder by coming over here to the top so there you have it thank you all for watching if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms by doing so you'll be notified every time we release new videos until next time take care see you soon